Well, there you go. Beautiful shot of, uh, well, not so much Lake Travis, but the dam on Lake Travis, uh, Mansfield Dam. And that is courtesy of Steiner Ranch Steakhouse. These guys are live in the studio with us this noon time. We're going to talk to them in a little bit. Smell, well, we're going to smell some good things. We'll tell you how good it smells, but we certainly appreciate them being in. We'll talk to you guys here in a second. I want to show you what we've had this morning. Now, that's a beautiful shot of a blue sky out there. Everything looks good. That's out Lake Travis Way. But let's take a look at what else has been happening out there. And uh, This is Google Earth. You see that orange dot on the bottom center of the screen? I know it's not very big. It's uh, uh, kind of small when you look at it on a big screen TV or anything. But it's the actual location, according to to the U.S. Geological Survey of where that earthquake happened this morning. Originally thought to be a 4.6, revised a little while ago, a little more than an hour ago, to a 4.8. And that is pretty rare to have those around here, but that's where it was located. I'll move this down a little bit. You can see that it was south of San Antonio and quite a way south of Austin. We had some folks that uh, mentioned that they noticed something about that time. Uh, go to our website, kxn.com, and check out the weather blog. I can show you what it looks like here. We had uh, that information as well as the latest update on the winter outlook from NOAA. And that will tell you what's happening as far as this winter. And you can see that it is going to be drier and warmer than normal. But if you want to read the details on it, you can. That uh, earthquake reported in central Texas, those are the actual details of it. And this is a seismicity uh, map. It shows you where we see that activity out there. And what's interesting about it, and I actually can zoom in a little bit for you on this. Well, I had it zoomed in a little bit. Uh, is it going to work for me? There you go. You can see San Antonio right here. I know it's zoomed in, kind of blown up, kind of blurry. You see all those dots? That, since 1990 or other areas where earthquakes have occurred. So that's kind of an interesting little spot. We do see activity along the Texas coast and out towards Louisiana. Uh, it's not exactly a fault. There are uh, other, other ways of uh, describing it that uh, are not quite along the, uh, the, the thinking of a, a fault line, but uh, it is not out of the question for us to see it. It is, though, very rare. 70 degrees right now. Sunshine, light breeze. It is shifting to the southeast, which is what we expected for today. Now, we talked about this morning's tips being very cold because we had clear skies, cold air in place, and the winds were going to go calm. And when they go calm, you get that best opportunity for cooling. And we did. We got some upper 30s. In fact, the next update, we'll look at some of those numbers. Humidity, 21%. Temperatures running in the 60s and 70s, so we are warming up nicely. We're going to go for upper 70s this afternoon. Wind speeds are also up anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour, not 250 but up to 14, but that's what we're expecting in our range. 60s, 70s in Fort Brownsville, already back to 82 degrees. You can see the skies are clear. We don't have much happening today. No uh, wind advisories. Nothing's going to gust up, so it's just kind of a natural return to warmer weather. Winds return to the south, slightly warmer each day into the weekend and all the way up to Tuesday of next week, and a very limited rain chance. Forecast models have a little bit of cloud covered down on the Texas coast trying to make its way in more towards Friday. You can see a little bit there Friday morning, a little bit of shower activity there. How about maybe a few scattered clouds for Friday night football? I think beautiful sunset is what we're really going to see out of this. And then into Saturday, maybe a dot or two of showers scattered across the state. 78 and sunny for today. Tonight, upper 40s, low 50s. And then our seven-day forecast basically warming up. 78 today, 82 tomorrow, 83 on Saturday. Morning lows, 50s and 60s. We get all the way to 88 on Tuesday, 80 on Wednesday. We, of course, we'll have more on our forecast. We'll look at just how cold it got in our morning forecast coming up after this.